So, Chattel's League Corby Cup's up next, a two mile five furlong. Hunter Chase, so number one in our top weight is Dante for Martin Lee, number two is Swiss Gris for Stu Gray, the 94 favourite, three is Blockley Tutor for James Shea, along with four, Mandolin Natter, Heathcote Monarch for Thomas Rogers is five, Ben Benici's James Away Friend is six, and Max for Alex Cherry is seven. Seven of them here, go over two miles and five furlongs, the rain's coming down here now, chance to be Corbett. So, main rate conditions a little bit uh, sticky for these. So they set them down, it's Mandolin Natter. Takes it up by a length and a half from Heathcote Monarch. And then a further length back to Max and Dante. And the three at the rear of Lockley Tutor, James Away Friend and Swiss Chris. So as they go away from the grandstand, or should I say the tents here at Chattersley Corbett, approach the first of 18. The lead is over at Mandolin Natter, and stake at the rear by James Away Friend. It's Mandolin Natter that leads us for James Shea from Heathcote Monarch, Thomas Rogers in second. In third, Dante Martin lead him in his old purple silks. On the outside of that is Max, Alex Cherry, orange cap, blue silks, orange cross bands, and we'll step over the second. We've got Stu Gray's Swiss Briss against the fences. James Shea's other horse, Blockley Tutor. Just Ben Benici's James away friend at the rear at the moment. Trying to get back into it after that mistaken first. So it's Mandolin Natter that leads us by a length and a half from Heathcote Monarch. Across the Chatterty Corbett Road there. Go through the first half mile to get to the fourth. A slow jump there by Mandolin Natter has allowed Heathcote Monarch to get closer to order. The stickier jump towards the rear as well. We step over it as they go over the fifth. This time it's Heathcote Monarch that didn't take it well again. So Mandolin Natter leads by a length from Heathcote Monarch. And they've got about a five, six length advantage from the rest, which is just being pulled along by Dante at the moment. On the outside is Max. They go over the six. Bit of a mistake by Dante there, and James away friend didn't get over it particularly well. So we're still just under two miles to travel. It's Mandolin, Natter, and Heathcote Monarch. Swing left handed, approach the seventh. We've got a five length advantage from Brockley Tutor that's moved into thirds. The leads are over the seventh. Got the slow jumps. Swiss Chris took it slowly. Down to the next mile and a half, still to go. It's Mandolin Natter from Heathcote Monarch, Broccoli Tutor, and Max. Much better jump there by Mandolin Natter. Jumps himself, sorry, Heathcote Monarch jumps himself into the lead. Mandolin Natter on his inside. Thomas Rogers and James Shea approach the ninth. They both get over that well. We well, jumped that one well. So Mandolin Natter and Heathcote Monarch been out there since the beginning. Past the winning post. Another complete circuit to go. Another nine fences to take. It's Mandolin, Natter, and Heathcote Monarch. James looking for his tenth hunter chaser win of the season. Getting to double figures. Thomas Rogers on five in third place at the moment. There's one behind myself. I've scored six. But it's Mandolin, Natter, and Heathcote Monarch that lead. Both go over the tenths to. Well, Mandolin Natter stepped over it a little bit and get away from it as well as Heathcote Monarch. So we're inside the final mile, and it's Heathcote Monarch and Mandolin Natter. Three or four back to block the tutor and Swiss Gris. Max, James away friend to go over the ditch. Oh, and we've lost one, it's Swiss Gris that's gone this time. And Stu Gray loses his only run up. Brrr. But it's Heathcote Monarch and Mandolin Natter. Both over the 12th. Oh, a couple of mistakes there. Max was struggled over it. And Dante looked like he just wanted to get off. But it's still, as I said, as we were inside the six. And Natter and Heathcote Monarch. On the through by Blockley Tutor. Over the 13th. James away friends went through the top of it as well as Dante. They're not going to win from there. So as we come inside the final half mile, it's Mandolin Natter that starts to pull away from Heathcote Monarch in second, running on Broccoli Tutor is third. This could be another win for James Shea here as we approach the next, which is the 15th, which is four from home, and it's Mandolin Natter that rises a little bit early, gets away from Heathcote Monarch. Broccoli Tutor still trying to run on now. Dante and James away friend have got to sprout wings from there. So it's Mandolin Natter joined by his stablemate Broccoli Tutor. They take it on now as they come to the 16th, and it's Blockley Tutor running on really well now. Is James away friend as they get to the 16th? It's Heathcote Monarch that jumps better than all and jumps himself into the lead from Blockley Tutor. Mandolin Natter, James away friend. Dante still trying to run on. Max is still there, but it's Heathcote Monarch that stretches his.
his lead. Inside the furlong and a half, goes over the penultimate well. Blockley Tutor went through the top of it. So it's Thomas Rogers, Heathcote Monarch, pulling away from the rest. He's still got a furlong to run and one to jump. But it's Heathcote Monarch, as long as he gets over this, he does, he sizes it well. So it's Heathcote Monarch from Blockley Tutor in second. Dante, our top weight, running on well for third. James away, friend, is going to be fourth. So it's a win for Tom Rogers, well done. And it's Heathcote Monarch. Picks up your six. And to chase winner of the season. Fighting off both Blockley Tutor and Mandolin Natter for James Shea. Well done. And our penultimate race. And the Chaddersley Corbett Cup has gone to Heathcote Monarch. And Tom Rogers, well done. Second was Blockley Tutor for James Shea. Dante for Martin Leadham. Not jump well. Came in third. Neither did James away friend. But Ben Benici in fourth. And fifth was Max Raddick's Cherry.